Hey guys and welcome back to the Abbey Diaries. I hope you are all doing super well. I know it's been a little while. Um, thank you so much for tuning back in and for you new ones. Hello new viewers. Thank you so much for clicking on and welcome to the Abbey Diaries. Now the Abbey Diaries um, is just my world. I'm Abbey and it's just all about my world and things that I kind of like and I hope that you guys will be interested to ranging from food to TV shows to movies, books and my faith which is Christianity which is what today's um, vlog will be focused on. Um, so but everyone's obviously welcome to watch and I hope everyone gets something out of it. Um, but before I do jump into that, uh, thank you for joining in as I said and please if you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe please give it a thumbs up at the end if you enjoy the video and also make sure to go and check out my blog abbeyswellblog.wordpress.com where there'll be a link below um yeah there's lots of new stuff on there even if I haven't been very active over here there'll be new stuff on the blog constantly so be sure to check that out so that's Abby's World. Um, and yeah, it's like the parent group of the Abbey Diaries. Um, so yeah, so today's blog, I was going to say blog there, but no, today's vlog, we will be looking at um, how to have quiet times. Now, for those who aren't Christian or those who are kind of new to Christianity that are like, what's quiet times? Well, I'm going to tell you what that is. Um, quiet times are just what we call spending time with God, essentially. Now, God is always with us, obviously, and all the time we should be kind of um, just chilling with him, really. Every every moment of our lives, we can be talking to him. It doesn't need to be kneeling down, putting your hands together, closing your eyes. That's not at all what this is about. Um, Christianity, you just talk to God anytime. Like, I'm talking to you, you're talking to God. Like, anytime, all the time, whatever you're doing, God is with you and you can be talking to him. But quiet times are the times that you actually take out during your day to either, um, well, there's lots of, I want to go through what kind of things you can do during your quiet times, but the main focus is hearing from God and talking to him. And the best way to hear from him is with the stuff he's already given us, which is the word, the Bible, and it's full of things about everything in your life. And like, even though I've been a Christian all my life, I've read I've read the Bible. Okay, let me rephrase that. I've grown up in a Christian home and I've read the Bible all my life, but I became a Christian. Like I accepted like, you know what, this is real. Um, Jesus is real. What he did for me is real and he is with me. All of that, that happened when I was about 15. So over 10 years ago now. And yeah, so that's when I became a Christian. And even though I have had the Bible all through my life, there's always new things that I'm just like, wow, that it really does talk about that. Or like, wow, like I was wondering about this and it's right there. Like everything is in the Bible. Like no word of a lie. Anything you need, it's right there. And it's the best way that God speaks to us. Um, there's lots of different ways that he does, but this is like the one that's right there, the most obvious one. Um, so yeah, so a lot of people have different ways to have their quiet times and people have often asked me what I do. Um, it's always nice to hear what your Christian friends are doing and people have often asked me that. So I just thought, why not just share it with everyone? Why not tell everyone how I have my quiet times? Now, like with a lot of things, there's no right or wrong answer. There's no, this is the best way to have your quiet times. This is the wrong way to do it. There's, there's, there's no such thing. It's whatever kind of works for you. And my favourite thing to do is obviously read a the Bible, but read a devotional. Now again, for you new Christians or for those that have no idea what I'm talking about at all, a devotional is basically a piece of writing. So it can be in a book usually, um, it can be part of a magazine. There's so many different ones, guys, so many ones that I would recommend that like I would be happy to give you if you contact me. If you can you can either comment below or DM me or do whatever you want. Um DM is the Abbey Diaries on Instagram. Um so there's lots of cool devotionals out there, cool pieces of writing that kind of um they give you a scripture. Scripture is just a Bible verse or a Bible passage or Bible story, whatever it may be. And they kind of talk about it. So 
kind of how we're talking about they kind of it can be um a personal thing it can be um explaining what that passage means there's just lots um and there's lots of topics a devotional can be on um it's just it's just really a a piece of text really it's not I can't I'm not probably not explaining it that well but it's really simple and it's just a big name it's just called a devotional because it's like I guess it's devoted to this time that you're spending with God um but yeah they're they're really great so I start with a prayer then I jump into my devotional so um speaking of devotionals I as much as I love my physical bible I have like lots of bibles I love bibles like look how pretty they are like like there's a theme isn't there it's quite floral but I have lots of types of bible if I see a pretty bible I'll buy it like I love I love buying like and there's lit different um versions of bibles as I have spoken about um in my previous vlogs um they all talk about the same thing but some are aimed at so they might be simpler writing for like you know teenagers or just people who want to have simple writing there's the old-fashioned like king james version like the hardcore like the and thou and shakespearean kind of language that is kind of hard to get your head around so there's lots of different types of um versions of the bible and what i love using in during my quiet times is the bible app now i've also mentioned this before in the past on my blogs and um what the bible app is is the Bible app, it's on your phone, it's a Bible. Um, and it's called U version. And I love using that app for many reasons. So I guess I love my physical Bibles, but that app first, okay, so no, in no particular order, some of the pros about this. The first thing is um you can connect with people. So your friends and family, if they're on it, you can kind of um they can see your notes if you want them to. You can have them privately or you cannot, but under every verse you can add notes in, you can put highlights, you can bookmark um stuff. And your friends and family can see that and they can kind of um learn from it too. Like if you want to put a note about something, they can look at that and go, oh wow, I didn't think about that before. If you're bookmarking something, they'll be like, that's a great verse, you know? So you can kind of connect with each other. Um, like I said, you can write notes, add highlights, put bookmarks, and it's so cool to go back to. Um, mine is so colourful, I love it. Um, it also has devotionals. So if you don't want to have books and books and books of devotionals, um, they have one for everything. Any topic, and I've literally talked about this in a vlog before, but any topic that um, you can think of, there'll be a devotional for it whether it be friendship, whether it be family, whether it be anxiety, depression, um, whether it be discovering your faith, whether it's about um, love or loss or anything, literally anything. And there's so many amazing devotionals. So that's what I like to do. And my quiet times are in the morning. Um, so I like to have quiet times in the morning. Have it whenever you want, really. But I, I just prefer starting my day with my quiet times. So I take some time out look at the bible app get a devotional so right now i'm reading a devotional by this great um christian writer really famous one called joyce mayer and i'm reading a devotional by her called do it afraid and i read that in the mornings and i have another quiet time in the night but it's much smaller so um in the evenings i'm reading another devotional by joyce mayer called um the confident woman so yeah like i said there's lots and um both of those are really good so yeah but i'm focusing on my main morning one um because that's my longer kind of quiet time so I start with a word of prayer I read the bible whatever devotional I'm doing on the bible app read the scripture that comes with it if I want to read something else read that and then I have my worship time so worship can take many forms like I've said before but I like singing I love music music speaks to me more than anything else really so I have my worship time so I do maybe play three or four songs usually on youtube sometimes one of my cds but mostly on youtube and i just jam out to that i worship and i praise and then after that i might read another devotional because some of them are really short like some of them will take you five minutes to read through so then i might read another one um pray finish it off done you know it's not complicated at all it's really simple and that's what I love during doing during my quiet times I have friends who prefer to 
write and make notes i like making notes too don't get me wrong i do make notes for a lot of things but i have some friends that are like they just pick one verse and they literally focus on that or pick one passage and spend like a whole like half an hour or something focusing on that alone and then praying and finishing so um there's lots of different ways to do it um it depends how what you prefer how you think like what kind of person you are no right or wrong way like I said so another devotional that I love reading that I've also showed in my recommended book kind of list is Unshakable sorry it's backwards again because it's a selfie mode um by Christine Christine Kane so that's the other devotional I read after my worship time I kind of read a page from here so like I said they're quite short I mean that will take you like three four minutes and if you want to sit and make notes then like eight minutes tops it's not going to take you that long um and this is my lovely notebook that I'll look through in a second. And a great book to start your Christian journey on, or just to, if you're just feeling like, mm, kind of believe, but not really. Or even if you've been a Christian for a really long time, it doesn't matter. It's for everyone. And it's a book by Rick Warren called What on Earth Am I Here For? And it's a best-selling book. It was the number one New York Times best-selling best book. He's a best-selling author. Over 32 million copies sold. Great reviews, including me. I am hyping it up. It's a good book, you know? And it's just talking about your purpose. It's about a purpose-driven life. It's called The Purpose-Driven Life, sorry. It's just the tagline is what on earth am I here for? The book is called Purpose-Driven Life. And it's a it's a really, really great book. It is actually the best-selling non-fiction hardback in history just following the Bible. So, you know, it's not just me that yeah, that speaks volumes. And this is my lovely notebook. I love my notebook. So always have a notebook handy. That's just a rule for life, to be fair. Like, I love making notes and I love writing songs and things like that. And inspiration strikes when you least expect it. So having a notebook handy is great. Some people like to make notes on their phones. I find that really distracting, but you know, each to their own. So that is what I love to do during my quiet time. Have a cup of coffee. I actually don't like to have coffee and stuff on me at the time, but lots of people like snacking, you know, taking tea. There's no rules, you guys. It's totally up to you how you want to do this the ball is in your court. That's just one way I like to do it. And since people have asked, I thought I'd come back and share that with you guys. Um, feel free to comment what kind of things you guys like to do. Or if you've never done this before and you feel like you want to try it and you want some other um, like like recommendations of devotionals and stuff, just comment or DM me or whatever you want to do. And you know I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this. And make sure to go check out the blog. There'll be something fun coming up on there soon. That'll be perfect for you guys in your 20s, especially. Especially people that are like 25 and they're like, ah, perfect for you guys. That'll be up before the end of the month. And hopefully we'll have another vlog on soon. And maybe even an original song that is in the works. That I'm not sure when we'll, we'll release it. Fingers crossed it will be soon. But until then, guys, stay safe. Us in the UK, we're going into another lockdown. Um, so especially you guys, stay safe. Really annoys me when people are making the most of these last two days by going out. And it's like, it's not really an excuse to go out. Like, we're meant to be inside. But you know what? Grace. Um, so, yeah. So stay safe. If you have to go out for urgent things, wear a mask. And just enjoy yourselves at home you know make the most of it and i will see you guys soon bye